Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Rookie Balboa run where we're trying to punch way above our weight class. It is time for the next round as we're going yet again <coughs> back in. Trying to beat Legendary Iron Man difficulty with only rookies. Four men, permanent dark events. That's really it. Uh, all the goodies, no PCSs, no training, nothing. It's just plain and simple, rookies versus uh, the world. Operation Tomb Chalice, uh, or Tomb Chalice rather, is going to be a hopefully good event where we're getting some more Elerium cores because those are needed. If we go through the list of enemies, it looks quite threatening. We do have Archons, which is a big problem. Spectres, that's a problem as well. Shield Bearer, a Gatekeeper. Uh, quite a few uh, advents and uh, sectored. So the noticeable ones that are really problematic is uh, Archon, Spectre, then Elite Lancer and Shield Bearer, of course. Gatekeeper by far the most uh, threatening one. And what we're going to do with that is Jaranks and Aaron are going to get in and we're taking Areas and Endors as a backup uh, with us. You can see that I've made the decision to not take the unique suits with me anymore, mainly because I want to save them uh, and want to make sure that we're not losing them randomly with a soldier in case we need to evac. Everything else can be more or less uh, rebought with uh, money over time, so that would be fine, but I don't want the unique ones to disappear. Uh, we might build a Wrath suit for that matter because I really like the mobility. For now, we took uh, the Ultrasonic Lure, quite a bit of ammunition. I'm wondering if we should <coughs> maybe substitute that for tail and rounds, just for a bigger oomph. But I think tracer rounds for now are fine. We can always use a little bit uh, better aim. And that really brings us to the actual mission. Let's hope it's not a smash and grab. I would like to have a real supply run mission. One where there is a chance that we can kill everyone and get the full supplies. All right, let's see how well this is going to go. All right, and we landed. So I just realized something unfortunate we are yet in another smash and grab mission yeah i was hoping that that would not be the case unfortunately unfortunately for us it is that's really unfortunate okay but we're going to do the best we can Aaron and Jerenks are taking the right building. And Arius is taking the left one. You can already see an Archon down there. Wonderful. So having the Archon down there just means it's going to be a bit more dangerous. Um, like I said, let's slowly and surely one step at a time, okay? There's no need to hurry. I am wondering if we want that... Uh, position on the balcony potentially one here wouldn't be bad either so andor smooths over hmm is that a door i think it is yes 
All right, so basically we got to get through all of this just to get to the balcony. Wonderful. You got to love those buildings. On my way. Got it covered. Got it covered. So far, nothing has happened. The moment, however, that we're going to spot the first pack, hell will okay. break loose. Can't kick the door open, that would ruin our concealment. Instead, we are continuing to move through here. Okay, so we are ready to theoretically go I'm on the move. and trigger. Looks like hostiles over here. Careful now, Saiken. Confirmed. This might trigger because there was a pack down here. It would be funny to go through all of this and have another position back here, but it's potentially asking for a bit much. Good, those two are very much staying there for now. Overwatch, 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 Overwatch. Let's spot these guys. So, if the lost spot happened, that's not bad. I mean, we're losing tactical analysis, which is not optimal, but the positive one is these guys don't know that we're here and we can continue ambushing them so they won't just move out of the way okay i think now is a decent time uh, to start playing this I believe a Mimic Beacon play is the right way to go. But let's start. Nice little hit. To be honest, fantastic hit. directly get in with the teamwork all right specter done ah, I hate taking shots at him because that could ruin the chest I don't know where the next one it would be. Let's focus on the Advent Captain instead. Armor still holding. Chances to hit are slimmer. But still there, there's a chance that we execute him. But I don't think this will realistically happen. So we're softening him up, that's really what we're doing, making it a one-shot. And then there's the Archon, okay, cool. 
Like I mentioned, there's going to be a Mimic Beak in play. Something along the lines of here. Next turn, I want to go down and get the crate. Because I very much have the suspicion we won't be able to finish this mission. Did they? Wow, did he? Wow, he just destroyed that crate. Oh my gosh. Okay, well. Take a deep breath. Don't. Don't think he did it on purpose. It is just how the good old XCOM engine works. Enemy sees the crate, enemy destroys it. But we could get up here and save the supplies. Which I honestly think is the right uh, thing to do. It sucks because it leaves us open and vulnerable. And we're potentially triggering more. Yeah. But we got another Mimic Beacon, so might as well. And because I also would want to win this mission. Okay, so what we really could do is get a few more losts in here. And that would work via massive and utter destruction. I think that's the right play. Very soon this one here is going to explode as well. There is the lost swarm I was hoping about, uh, hoping for. Plenty of losts. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to teamwork. Yes, please. And ultrasonic lure. I mean, look, we could do this here. That marks four. But leaves the stun lancer out. Or we're doing this. I'll check on it a little bit later. For now. Second teamwork. Time to kill, hopefully kill, this Archon. Execute. Nope. Come on, come on, come on. Execute. There you go, I learned, I just need to say execute, execute, and things are happening. To be honest, continuing with the other Archon like is likely areas here. Deal with a purifier, that's not a real big threat. Or we're trying to kill the officer. That would work. Oh no, <laughs> no, no, no. We're going to do a mimic beacon, so he's out.
I'll take the 100%. Just get damage onto the board. Good. This seals uh, the fate of these guys and our second Mimic Beacon. Second Mimic Beacon play. Is one over here. What a nasty mission so far. I was hoping for a miss. Potentially was asking for too much there. Yeah, we're going to take a shot. But at least we're going to survive. Oh, okay, well, you can always count on a little bit more stupidity from Advent. Good. The one thing we need to be careful now is not to just stand in the middle of uh, all of this firefight. But instead, let the um, uh, massive amount of loss deal with Advent. Good, time to continue killing that Archon. Good. Shall we continue? Shall we kill the purifier? Hmm. It's actually not a bad idea. That means more loss will come, and he cannot. And he cannot destroy them. So that was good. And I'm reloading. And time to kill the <laughs> shield bearer. Nice little execution. Are we going to do kind of a full retreat? Are we rather going to move over here? Full cover. This guy is still a pain in the rear. We got another chest over there, but it sort of seems inactive, or we're just not in range. Could also go and position myself up here. Stun Lancer would be in range, though. I think we're taking the safe play. We got one crate so far. Our equipment is safe. We got a really solid position. 
If we can get a second one, cool. If not, not the end of the world. Just want to win the mission, really. The lost star to <coughs> burn. We try to go for a second crate right over here which just hasn't been marked, but that would be a dangerous game. Good, we could move to here and actually get that second crate. At the same time, uh, two, four, six, eight, nine, that's not a hundred percent kill. Let's just thin the ranks a tiny bit. Because if we go there and kill that uh, stun lancer, we're the next ones who will be attacked. Don't get me wrong, they've done a fantastic job. In hunting them down two four six eight that's a kill Not sure why exactly I can't hit anyone over here. They just won't die. What is wrong with you? We jump down the stun lance has the chance to stun lance and I really don't want that to happen. I think it's not a smart idea to go for the crate. It's just too risky I could pull another pack. Which is, let's be honest, likely to happen. Nah. Let's just kill the Lancer. Okay, that will leave all of the Advent... Uh, all of uh, the Lost Wandering. And for here, it's a reload overwatch. Okay, it is what it is. If you have four rookies, there's only so much you can do. I didn't have a Mimic Beacon left over, nothing. It was just the moment that we would have uh, ran in. If it's another pack, um, I would have had to bear the full brunt of it.
And maybe it's not the worst time to just evac out. Sometimes one crate and everybody survives is better than zero crates and no one survives. I think it's a perfect moment in time to call it a day. It's been a good ride. It has been fun. Let's get a dasher out. And just because I don't like you. Trying to get that officer as well. Not sure why we can't evac. Why can't we evac? Wait, what? Okay, let's try this here. Okay, we can evac from here. Let's at least get the threats eliminated. Two, four, six, eight. Yep, that could be a kill. Good, we got a free reload. But I'll just leave him be for now. I do have an idea. Not sure why that evac, why that one field just doesn't work. Okay, so this evac here would work. And Aaron. Moves in here as well. And then we got the ultrasonic lure and let's throw it in a way that everybody just hates the advent uh, captain. There you do go. Adios. See you later. Adios. Even with a crit, we can't be killed. The Overwatch play for him really won't make his life any better. And that Evic that evic problem well lucky for us not sure why i'm attacked actually That's affirmative. okay evic works eat this Good, Edwin, the Edwin officer died. And even if it was the last thing that I did, that guy bit the dust. I pulled another swarm, yes, guilty. But that's someone else's problem now. See you guys.
Look, we got one crate. What what can I say? <clears throat> I tried for a second one, but I didn't have the balls to charge into the dark without a mimic beacon. So unfortunate that it wasn't the full supply run. Superior conditioning. Well, good. Did it give us any cores? No. Uh, that sucks. I really wanted one. Let's hope we'll get some cores in the loot of the next missions. Is that is not great. Getting another guerrilla ops mission, however, isn't too bad. It is an extra mission that we could get, and one more chance of getting undying loyalty. Our inspiration did prove beneficial. Yes, Commander. Yeah, great. I, I don't need that breakthrough guerrilla tactics school. What I really would need is plasma weapons plus one. That would be helpful. Very good. Together we have succeeded in our task. Another 42 intel. Thank you. Can we get another mission in? I think we got one here. That's the other mission that we could do. 25 intel for ability points, which we won't need. Do we want to let anyone get captured? No. Or do we just want to lose 20? This is just, do you want to accept minus 25 intel and gain nothing in return? Well, yeah, sign me up, of course, Saiken. Sounds like a good idea. No, it does not. It sounds like a horrible idea. Good. We now got the Hunter's Axe, which isn't bad either, but just not good for this run. And the only thing that I could do is wait, wait, wait and wait, because we need that uh, those cores in order to get the Rage Suit done. Okay, there we go. Uh, hidden dark event, neutralize a uh, commander, and we got many, many, many mechanical units, codec, uh, codices, uh, elite specters, or have uh, those are nasty. Sectopod, heavy mech, the one advent general, and elite lances. Okay. Not sure if we did ourselves a favor with that, Commander Saiken. That smelled a little bit like a shite idea. But it is an option for us to get some extra... Uh, some extra items for the Proving Ground. And if push comes to shove, we're just going to lose the mission. It's also not the end of the world. Dranks and Aaron could go into that mission as well. Gotta be careful with our rank 3 members. Oh, finally. Over the, uh, uh, over the Covert Ops mission, those two bonded. Cool. Very good. Could use uh, that whole mission as well. Uh, Shinrod and X are almost done with their rank 3 training. That's good. Could use that mission as well to get a few of those bonds up. The lower level bonds. Maybe I'll do it. Uh, get the lower level bonds up 
and we need a lot of blue screen rounds for for the fight there is an actual sector pod there which will make the whole uh, thing a little bit more difficult maybe we'll take one level three bond with us because the double shot and the extra actions are are quite good yeah potentially that that's the right play okay but we'll come to that in a second so far that's the end of this mission thank you so much for watching if you enjoy the content leave a comment down below and tell me other than uh, having idle stuff here and there and that I should optimize uh, the engineers tell me what you think about the current situation will we make it will we get to the finishing line with this one and will we ever get the plasma breakthrough those are my questions thanks a lot and have a good one bye boys bye bye